Ugh. What's up, guys? It's Friday. I have no pump at all. I do. I got a deep well set up because guess what? There's my new well. And it's 41 foot deep until it hit rock. And that's it. This one, that's kaput. 35 foot down. Something in the way. Either way, can't get past either spot. So, had to go to the old health department, get the permit, have them come find out, locate where they're gonna tell the dude to drill my new well, and then I had to go with a licensed driller. And boys and girls, let me tell you what. That shit was not, get out of here you dumb shit. Uh, yeah. One-handed. Hey, Captain Charisma. God almighty. They cut that up with a chainsaw. But, uh, uh, the gun show, you know what I'm talking about? So, I'm a sweetie leaving. Getting ready to head out. I'm so forgetful sometimes. I forgot some of the fittings I needed. Stupid. So, let's see. All right. So, new well. Deep well pump set up. Mine wouldn't work. Thank you to the gentleman at Hubbard Pipe and Supply, Neil Brando, guys at the counter. You need something, guys, Wilmington and surrounding counties? Water heaters, bathtubs, faucets, lighting. They've got a real nice lighting department now. Go check them out. Hubbard Pipe and Supply, North Kerr at South Kerr. The very beginning of South Kerr Avenue, Wilmington, North Carolina. And what's up? Cause oh, with um, Pipe Tex Plumbing. Um, man, I'm shitty as hell with names. That was so cool, man. I've never met anybody like at the store, shit, you know, people built at the park, you know, but no, nobody ever recognized me out. That was cool, man. Thank you. It was so cool meeting you, brother. I hope we get to ride soon. And if not, come on out and hang out. Beat the 300 up for a little bit. Huh. Any of you guys that follow me on Facebook, here's, uh, and just got a cat, 19 years old, Ash, big black cat. I, he was camera shy, so y'all probably never seen him in the videos, but big boy. He was the boss of the house. He's the eldest of the bunch, and he never got to see it. Y'all, that sucks. So, you know, I, we, come, we come back to the vet, had him in his favorite blanket with a flower with him, and I walked him around and told him about everything, and and uh this spot felt right to angie and at the time we got here it has sun on it because he liked laying in the sun so this is where he uh he this is where his vessel rests but he's alive in our hearts i can feel him right here right now that was hard y'all it sucks it sucks um uh moving on aha uh -huh. I'm trying to think because I don't remember the last time I did an update. I had so much going on lately. So this is ye old fire place or lack thereof. Look at that, man. Man, you scab, you know, like a two by four right here. Call it good. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's going to be a fun one, man. Look how big that is. So, yeah, that's, that's big. That's going to be fun, but no problem. We're going to take care of that. So I've got my crap bricks, bricks for uses. And you gonna design something off of that. Do a raised flower bed for it. There instead of just a cross, you know, try to make a make you know, make something pretty. It doesn't remind us of death, it reminds us of life. So I think it's an awesome idea, honey. Uh let's see. Oh, it's Friday. Uh so the well sucks and it's gone. I got my deep well pump, man. Oh man, I'll tell you what, just incredible people. Hubbard Pipe and Supply. Cape Fear, the original Cape Fear Rooter. New Hanover and surrounding counties. Check them out, give them a call. Number one in the number two business. Um, uh, Pipe Tex Plumbing. Y'all give them a call. Wilmington, North Carolina. So, all right, just walked up in here like willy-nilly shit. Let's see. Got some more two-by-fours in the damn bathroom. Uh, still missing that. Got to get that done. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow. 
Hopefully we'll be dragging wire. Well, I thought I seen the boogeyman up there looking at me. It was just some insulation. But that old shit looks scary. Uh, supposed to be doing the wiring tomorrow, getting the entire house all new. Same panel, the box will stay. Some of the breakers will stay. Every inch of the wire is gone. So gonna be all new. New service out to the tree right there for the camper. Mike, you got a ditch to dig in the morning. Uh, let's see. What the hell else? Uh, this floor had a sag over here, no doubt, with the, you know, fireplace. And now we know why. You guys seen it from the outside. So that's going to get repaired. Three-quarter plywood's going to go back over there. Found the French doors for under 460 at Lowe's. Going to do a right-hand end swing. So the right-hand door will open in because it's going to be the kitchen. Oh, let's see. Not going to use this dinosaur turd anymore. Um, thought about it, but it's it's rough. It's rough as hell. Oh, these are not bags of that insulation that was here, and then I got rid of it and then brought it back. No, this is out of a customer's attic, um, the roadhouse. Oh, boy, we're back there again. So if you are uh, friends with me on Facebook and that memory that I shared today, ho, oh, oh, shit. And you guys, my subscribers, you wait. I got some cool shit. The Southern Homes, a look inside. They modeled the upstairs of the house after the movie Patrick Swayze Roadhouse. That farmhouse he stayed in. But they pimped, pimped the bathroom. Year six. We are on year six of that bathroom. Five or six. I'm not. I'm on year two. So, But my boss is on year five or six of that bathroom. That thing is dope. So, this is my $160 tub. Hayanga, that's why. In the corner, no problem. Sheetrock gonna cover right over it. Uh, new surround, just put this in. Can't be manhandling it too much. Um, but check out those scalloped shelves, man. That is super cool. I don't know how much of this you guys can see. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it. I'm looking through the screen now, dumbass. But yep, so that's that. And if this looks like the wrong color, it is indeed biscuit color, which is more expensive than white. So, and you got this first road to hell's paper, with good intentions. Good call, honey, for 70 bucks. What a steal with the valve and the base. No drain. So, on sale, $60. No, it's going on the back porch, guys. So I got the shitter down. I got the plumbing in for it there. I got the flange set and my drop pipe already. But no sense in putting it on the floor. It'll be up and down a few times. Plus, my sister and brother-in-law have got a better toilet for me. So, awesome. Got that for free at uh, Hubbard Pipe and Supply. Again, y'all check them out. Oh, uh, Budget Backwoods. Budget Backwoods. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. Y'all get over there and check him out on his channel. He's a Honda guy. We want to support, you know, everybody that supports us. And so if you would, please go give the man a look. Give him a shout. Like and subscribe. Check him out. Uh, sorry it took so long, brother. I've been, it's been a scramble. So what else? Uh... Went with the Growy False uh, Tub Shower Combo. Really love this setup. See, I'll show you guys the trim kit. Had it on sale at, damn man, I'm gonna tell you what. There it is field time, bro. God almighty, I shoulda. There's a tractor out in that field. They have been spraying something for the past two days that makes me wanna sell this place. I woke up this morning and smelled it in my truck. It smells like rabbit shit mixed with bat shit, mixed with cat shit, mixed with dog shit, a little bit of my shit, a homeless alcoholic bum shit. It is some nasty, I'm trying to tell you, it smells like wolf rat asshole. I'm about to barf and you can taste it when you talk. So I need to shut up. So this is what we went with, um, big old shower head. And y'all, I'm 6'3", so that thing's got to be at least 7 foot 4. And then I got an extended shower head that'll come up and then down. So the trim kit will be on the wall, you dumb bastard. Let me see, show y'all my cool. They had this big ass square shower head that was dope. Because I'm going for like the poor boy rain, you know what I'm saying? 
the rainfall. So I'm gonna be in here like flash dance, <laughs> or maybe like this. I don't know, but. I got an, an extension tube and it, there's one comes off and then it kicks up and it's got a 90. So I might have me a, what? So yeah, gonna plumb it in. I got it roughed in right now, a half inch, but I think I'm gonna bring three quarter through the floor, bring it right up to the transition and knock it over there. That way when you turn the water on, it'll blow the caulk out of the joint <laughs> over there. Man, there's, I'm gonna tell you, if you could pump three quarter up to that valve and adapt it a half inch, Hey, that's a shower. And you talk about a fast filling bathtub. But Angie really liked the, uh, I, I, I just thought about it. If I don't show it, she's going to kill me. So, the, she says it looks like a horn. I think it looks like a horn too. But yeah, guys, if I'm excited about this petty shit, uh, that petty shit excites me. So what you want me to say? But yep, I dumbass forgot to get the 90s. To make my connections um put some swank in there so it don't let air and mice rats and the boogeyman into the hole and uh go try to keep everything sealed 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 so gonna be some progress this weekend i don't know how much more if i can get the electrician here i need to tell you what it's gonna be sheet rock trying to put the ceilings in then it's well i don't know insulation because i got two layers going in there plus plastic so that's be smart money is that finish the floor the structural get that done get it closed up and go ahead and start putting the insulation in well you guys stay tuned i don't want it to run too long